All right, everybody. Uh, it might be a little bit loud here because I'm next to a few trucks, but I uh, wanted to show you what I'm dealing with here. This is a Detroit Diesel D15. Has at least a horsepower rating of about 450 horsepower. As you see here, I'm doing a pre-trip on it. Uh, interesting little engine here. If you look right here, this is something special to my company. And that is a two gallon oil reservoir. So even if our tank goes dry on the other side, we've got an extra two gallons. Right here, you're seeing parts of the suspension and braking. Underneath, those are the leaf springs. We have to check the belts. That's the fan and the turbo right there. And on the front, this is a special thing. This is called a crash guard, but I call it the Bambi Buster because if a deer hits this, it's going to be gone. Then we come on over to this side, and here's the meat of it. That's the power steering right there. Also have the fuel filter right here. That is the air dryer for our system. We don't want any water getting into the airlines at cold temperatures because it'll freeze it over. Uh, that's the steering right there, and all of these here are airlines, electric lines right there. Main part of the engine's right here. Here's the coolant reservoir. And as you can see, we're right in between the cold max and the cold minimum. This truck has been sitting for about 30 minutes right now. But this truck, with all of this equipment, we go about an average of 23,000 miles before we need to have any, maintenance, any major maintenance done on these with the, with the uh, preventative maintenance checks. And as you can see right here, we've got the fuse boxes right here, along with the electric connections. And as I said, this is a freight liner. Some of this stuff you don't see on every truck out there, but this one we've got them. I'm going to show you the rest of the truck as I walk along here. Right now we're going to take a look at the reefer. It's going to get loud. Set to its regular settings. That's for our airlines, which are hooked right here. When they're not hooked up to the trailer, we put them here so that we can keep the uh, air and water out of them to keep them dry. Water will be smoked to study. Don't do drugs, kids. Stay in school. Do you want me to lift the can up? <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> See, this is uh, the reefer works. Yes, it all does. This is one of our trailer skirts right here. Fuel tank right here for it. I got stuck on this guy's trailer. Now, if you look, all these rivets are covered. That's because we've got a special wrap that's on this that keeps us safe here. I'm hoping this guy doesn't fucking move his truck. Holy shit. That's fucking tight. Okay, I'm thin. Holy crap. And if you're wondering why we're on the line, it's because of this doofus over here on his line. And I don't mean the doofus that's standing on the corner of the trailer. This is where the flux capacitor goes. <laughs> this is our hyperdrive. I'll keep it open. Let's see if they can see inside. Probably not. Actually, this is a vent door, and what we use it for is not really to look at the vents, but to check to see whether the product has moved. You know, we got to make sure that the product stays where it's at. This is what's called a seal. Now, there's a bunch of different types of these. It could be bolts, they could be this plastic one, they could be a metal band, or they could even be a wire. But that helps, up, helps prevent theft out here. We've got a lock on it further. But we take that off when we drop this thing off. That doesn't stay with the load. Come around to this side. There's our tires. As I said on one of the videos, I don't know if it actually got out with it. All of our tires are an all aspect tire. They can go on the uh, trailer, drives, or the steers. And that's not a good sign right here. That is right in the tread. I don't know if it's fall. Hey! I'm gonna have to have 
Carlos checked that. And if you look, we got an air system on these. We don't really actually have to check what the PS, what the pressure is in it, because these will keep it going. I have it on all of the trailer tires, so we just are allowed to keep running with these as long as it'll stay aired up. This one sort of is. This is one way to check them, but I've got a tire thumper that can do the same thing. Just the opposite side, one of our tracking lights on the side here. You have to have X amount of lights on every trick out there. Just like the mud flaps. Mud flaps are a thing that you have to have on these trucks. DOT specifies it. These are standard, these are drive axles here. And think about this is that these right here, this is a special different type. This is called a tag axle. And there's actually no power into this one. It, it just sort of glides along. On ours, that's this one. Just checking them. Got our fuel tank, one on each side. That's our snow change, which we haven't had to use yet. And I don't particularly want to. If you look, there's the cat lap. You can see the drive shaft down there, along with the way it drives the uh, drive tires. Have more of the suspension. And I forgot to check the gear bags back there. There are a couple air bags that are underneath the trailer. Look kind of like those. That's actually part of the suspension for the cab. But they keep the thing level. And they keep it, it from bouncing our fillings out of our own teeth. Side, side storage on this side. And we've got our mirrors up there. So, this gives you an idea of what we have to go through. I did this kind of quick, but I also know what I'm looking for. So, give me a moment and I'm gonna put this thing back up. So, I got rudely interrupted by my own phone by say, it saying that it was too hot. So I'm actually doing the uh, pre-trip on the inside here looking to make sure all the gauges are in their normal normal positions and everything before we go. Um, we do have to check certain things in here as well, stuff like the seat belts. we got to make sure that the windshields are good and not cracked, which we actually have a couple little things on, a couple little dings, but they're also well within DOT standards. Like right there, you can see one of the rock chips that we've got. That's a small one, even though it's in the sweep, it's not growing. We also have another one that's right underneath that and you can actually see it right there look at the center of the windshield wiper and you can see where we got dinged right there that was a nice one because of how it hit it uh, we've got our Qualcomm right there I'm not going to go into it because I don't know what's proprietary and what's contract anything like that in it but we have that and it has a USB so we've got a keyboard for it which makes it a lot easier um, one thing about this truck that sucks that's city horn. What we're missing is right here. We don't have the air horn. Um, our newer trucks have it, but not this one. And that was something they said to save money or safety. I, I don't know. I, I, I find it kind of bullshit, but those are our air, air brakes right there. And this is basically, let's see, we've got a couple other things. This here, as I said before, it's a tag axle truck. This actually works for when we're in, you know, slippery conditions. It actually drops down the airbags and drops the trailer down onto it to put more weight onto the drive axle so we can get out of stuff. This one here lowers the suspension just in case some idiot decided to drop the trailer too damn low and we can get underneath it. Underneath back here behind the tablet, we actually have a fifth wheel release there. Not every truck has that. Um, and it allows us to unhook from the fifth wheel without having to be outside for it. We've got a few of our uh, few of our little gauges here. That's to do a parked regeneration of our DPF filter. Um, you have to do that every so often. Usually it does it while it's running, but sometimes it doesn't. This video is not sponsored by Dr. Pepper Cherry, but it's there. Uh, that's our utility lamp in the back. Uh, that's for where the airlines and stuff are so we can see them, uh, so we can see what we're doing at night dome light just for in here and that goes through the menus up there we can get some of the information have mirror here and this adjusts the brightness of that now I think I said it but if I didn't this is a 
uh, Detroit Diesel 15 with a DT12 auto shifter. Now, it does it. What it does is it's a computerized shift. It actually is a manual without the stick here. And what it does is it actually just moves the shift on its own when it hits certain areas on the RPMs on this. So that's basically what we've got. Um, we do have our CB up here. I always like having one, and I'm glad my co-driver had one. That is our pre-pass device so that we can go through most scales without even being uh, pulled in. It just beeps for us, and if it's a green light, it's good. If it's a red light, we have to go in. But other than that, that's what I've got. I'll probably be putting this out later today. All of you have a good day out there, and hopefully you actually enjoy these videos. If you are enjoying this, please put it into the comments, and be sure to like and subscribe on this. And if you guys know anybody that's looking for a different job, looking for a different career, you know, maybe talk to them. Maybe they would want, like this. And show them these videos. Share it with them, and, you know, who knows? You might help them find something that they enjoy a lot. This is Raven. I'll see you later. Hey, stop. What the hell was it doing? It's not stopping.